Welcome to the Commerce Bug Screencast. This screencast will run through Commerce Bug's functionality and some configuration options. To start with, Commerce Bug, once installed, will insert this um, little debug menu up near the top. So click on that and your Commerce Bug information will pop up. You can turn this link off if you go to uh, System, Configuration, Advanced, Commerce Bug. And then right there, the option is Show Debug Menu, Yes, No. So we're going to start. This is the home page. We're actually going to start with the product page. Open up our menu. Um, the Controller Request tab, you will get a... Um, It'll give you the uh, name of the controller class as well as the uh, path where you can find the file. It'll also give you the uh, module name, uh, controller name, uh, action name, and the path info, which is useful, especially on a product page if you're using uh, URL rewrites. The models tab will list uh, each model instantiated on the page as well as the number of times it was instantiated. You can sort uh, using the headers there. Very similarly, uh, blocks will give you a list of each block, template, pair, and the number of times it was instantiated. So you can sort. Um, some blocks don't have a template, so um, they just do all their rendering through um, PHP. Um, other times, if you uh, let's find the HTML one. One minute. Uh, the template, let's say that, you see the mage core block template listed twice here. Um, that's because each time it was instantiated with a different PHTML template. Layout, you will, in the layout tab, you will get a list of um, your default layout handles, as well as uh, links to uh, see the fully rendered XML for the page and package layout for a particular request. Uh, class URI lookup, this is kind of neat. You can use this to um, look up what a group class name will resolve to. So as you can see, um, you will get a list of this catalog slash product group class name as a model. It would resolve to that. And then we actually uh, run a test to see what it's actually resolving to. Um, this is useful when you're overriding modules. For example, uh, Commerce Bug itself overrides a module in the uh, core layout update. So one second. So this actually tells us the core layout update that's actually um, resolving to this um, override class I created. You can also limit it by uh, what type you'd like. And you may also enter PHP class names. And it will list the um, group class name that that resolves to, as well as try to instantiate it to make sure that that's actually matching up with what you think it is. And finally, we have the um, system tasks tab. Um, here we can um, clear the cache. Uh, this will save you the time of uh, going down through the admin menus to clear the cache while you're developing. And finally, there is an option to, uh, Commerce Bug collects all this information. You can log that data to the Magento log. It's logged as JSON. And then what you can do um, is select it all. Let's do a refresh there because, you know, the log gets kind of messy. And then let's go to a different page. And if you go to this Welcome tab, you will have a Paste JSON from Log text box. Right now, this is showing us that the uh, index page was rendered by the uh, CMS controller. But you can take JSON from a log file, paste it in there, click rendered into tabs, 
and you will actually get the information from that log JSON. This is very useful when you're debugging uh, Ajax pages, such as the checkout page. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, Commerce Bugs.